joining me in the studio is our regular bookworm, Audrey Chirenje. Audrey, I like your earrings. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I had to brighten my world Yeah, today. to brighten up your world, eh? Yes. Now, that's fantastic. So today we are discussing a book by Eva Moore Kangani. Uh, this is a uh, motivational, I could say, or... Um, Christian book. Christian motivational. Christ yes. Christian motivational book. And um, this lady, she's like a multi-award life coach. She's a public speaker. Uh, she's like a, an activist for gender-based violence. So, I mean, when you talk about those topics, you obviously know that there's depth in some of the stuff that she's bringing out and she really wants to address to people who are going through this. Now, uh, the book title is called Beauty for Ashes uh, by Eva Moore Kangani. So, why Beauty for Ashes? when you read this book. Okay, so I think earlier on I was listening to your discussion about someone who sold a baby. Right. And Which I is very sad, isn't it? Very sad indeed. But I couldn't help. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a topic where she says, um, God can turn your full stop into a coma. Okay, so why I'm talking about this? Because I'm sure these women involved, okay, thought, you know, whatever they'd done, that was the end of it. Mm -hmm. But there's always so much more that can happen after that, mm -hmm. you know? So even the title, Beauty for Ashes. So I'm reminded of even the gold purification process. She talks about that, how, you know, gold has to be burnt at very high temperatures mm -hmm. for it to actually come out refined, and that's the good stuff, mm -hmm. and then it cools down. But more often in life, when we're going through stuff, we just think, ah, oh, that's the end of yeah. us. Because that, you know, I'm, I'm listening to you saying that that, that burning is, is a difficult. Imagine taking a, a, a mattress or a lighter and putting it on your skin. Some people cannot endure that. Now, I was speaking yesterday with a sister of mine, another sister from church, and we were talking about how Joseph was thrown into a hole, a cistern, and uh, there was the desert, there was no one in the vicinity, and he couldn't get out of there. And you start thinking of death immediately. And she was asking, how do you pull yourself out of that space? I mean, sometimes you can say it's easier said than done. Okay, okay, God is going to turn the comma, the full stop into a comma. Or, uh, you know, how do, you, how do I physically put that and say, I'm going to get out of this? What is, how does she explain getting out of those tough situations? All right, so like you're saying, Eva Moore has so many accolades to her name, but she's also a minister of the word, yeah? So That's she's it. a pastor, she also preaches. So in this book, she, she's using people from the Bible. She talks about, you know, all the greatest heroes, your Esther from Often to Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about Joseph from the pit to the palace. Yeah. Uh, she talks about the woman with the issue of blood. And, you know, the way she explained it in that chapter for me, it was actually very new. This woman was suffering. 12 years she suffered. She was anemic. She was now broke because she had gone to all the, all doctors, the doctors and, the and whatnot. Yeah. But she had that hope, you know, that hope. So I think even from your question, we just need to have that hope to say, things can turn out better. And then you obviously have to encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. There's always that verse in the Bible. So many people have to encourage themselves to say, you know what, things might turn out better. And then you just have that hope. Yeah. Uh, I, I love what you're saying, and I'm a believer, you know. But what about the person who's not a believer, who doesn't know what the Word of God says, who doesn't want to? Because, you know, sometimes a lot of people will turn around and say, stop Bible bashing me. <laughs> what, what about that person who's going through the most in their lives? How do we minister to them effectively from every piece of pearl in this book? Yeah, that statement, Bible bashing, I, yeah, I think most Christians, they, they actually love doing that. And sometimes someone doesn't need just those quotes from the Bible. Maybe they need a dollar to buy a loaf of bread. That's it, yeah. Or they need a dollar for their combi, and then you're giving them scriptures. So what I found interesting about this book, uh, Marisa, is the foreword is written by Itumeleng Seku Pedi. She's from South Africa. She's an author, motivational speaker, entrepreneur, and she makes candles and wine. Why I wrote all this down is because when she was 11 months old, mm -hmm. a candle actually fell, fell down and burned her. Oh, wow. And she ended up, you know, being scarred, and she lost a limb, and she's now a person living with disability. Yeah. So in a foreword, she even talks about how she attempted suicide three times because mm -hmm. of all these hardships that she went through. But guess what? She then decided to make a company because she's an entrepreneur that makes candles. Right. It oh. was a candle that burned, burned her. her. Uh -huh. Yes. But now she's got a company that makes candles and wine. So why am I mentioning this? I think 
like we always say, you think your situation is so unique, yes, but there's always someone with the worst story, and we're not belittling anyone's pain, but we just just find someone to talk to, someone to encourage you, and then also just encourage yourself, and mm -hmm. you will get your beauty for the ashes that yeah. you would have gone through. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of the lessons, maybe two uh, or three lessons that we can draw from this book? All right, so in terms of the lessons, she talks about how um, sharing of own personal struggles and triumphs offering hope to those who long for a fresh start. We've spoken about that. And then our past does not have to dictate our future. And then transformation can be awakened within our ashes. Mm. And even if you look at the one quote from the book, she says, you cannot erase what has been done, but you can forgive. You can forgive. Forgiveness Com is Comments that. on that forgiveness, <laughs> that painful subject. It's very painful. Uh, as I am saying to you, forgiveness is the hardest thing that we have to do. But I guess um, obedience is better than sacrifice because the word of God says we've got to forgive for us to move on. So sometimes it's better to just say, yeah, I forgive you. But even going through that pain, I guess you're just like, oh, but that's the biggest thing. I know it's the hardest journey. It is. And she even talked, you know, in the chapter, she puts a definition of forgiveness, things that I never looked at. She says forgiveness deals with self. It's got nothing to, to do, do with the, the, the other person who right. hurt you. So like the, the famous analogy that people always use, it's like if you don't want to forgive someone, it's like you want to drink poison, but you expect the other person to, to die. die. Yeah, but <laughs> you're, you're the one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So do we get that, guys? You are drinking that poison if you don't forgive. So I think that's my take home today, uh, the forgiving aspect of how people can really hurt us. But, you know, we need, that's part of the ingredients, I guess, for turning beauty to ashes. Now, where do we find this book? This book is found at uh, ICMF building, uh, Karigamombe Center, and MCZ Bookstore, Corner 3rd and Central Avenue. Okay, and how, how much is it? $10. And you can also hit up the author on all social medias, and then she will hook you up a copy. That's wonderful. And her social media handles, what are they? Evermore Kangani on all platforms. Evermore Kangani. Yes. Thank you so much, Audrey, for joining us. This is a really good book. I, would, I mean, I could talk about it all day because, as, as you know, everybody's going through something. You know, that doesn't eliminate me or you. So talking about things is absolutely really good. And reading this book can be a, a life-altering uh, experience to get you out of the rut that you are in. Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.